Hey y'all, it is Nikki and welcome back to the channel. We got a puppy. <laughs> Here we are. Today is the day. I can't really believe that this is happening, to be honest. We're making last minute preparations before we hit the road. We're going to be spending six hours in the car today, so that's exciting. Last night, made some changes, moved my dresser to the other side of the room to make room for this. Today's video is probably going to be pretty short, just a log of this monumentous day. Monumentous, that's not a word. It's a monumental day that I've been waiting for for a pretty long time. And to be honest, never really thought would come. So this is huge. I'm really excited. And I'm going to do my best to record the different stages of the journey. Also, like I mentioned earlier, it will be six hours round trip in the car in order to get our fur baby and bring her home. So that means for at least half of that time, I will really have nothing better to do than write, especially since I was super productive for school yesterday and got everything out of the way there. So this day has the potential to not only be really exciting and fun, but also really productive for my story. That's the goal. Let's see how much I can accomplish on the road. So I spent pretty much all of today on the quest to bring home our little Reggie. She is a Golden Mountain Doodle, not the breed my family was actually originally looking for. We were looking for just a straight up Golden Doodle. Reggie was an example of a situation where God kind of took us in a different direction spontaneously, and here we are. Like I said before, this will definitely be a short video. <laughs> Normally I have my videos done well in advance, but this week just got away from me. Plus I figured that a dog vlog would just be better than a writing video this week, so here it is. Hope you enjoy. If you can't tell, this is just the chillest puppy I think I've ever seen in my entire life. It was a three hour drive back from where we got her and she basically just like sat in the seat beside me, just chilling the entire time. She didn't make a peep. I still haven't heard her make a sound and <laughs> she's still kind of like getting her bearings in the house and everything. She's, she's so cuddly. It's ridiculous. I love her so, so much. What to say about today's adventure? She is a bit of a surprise in a lot of ways because my family has been on a waiting list to get a golden doodle for the past like two years or so. Even that was like a feat, an accomplishment that we got to that place where we were actually getting a dog. I'm one of the classic kids that grew up wanting a dog and asking for a dog but never getting one. But just in the past few years, something kind of shifted and we all felt like we wanted to bring a dog into the family. So we were ready for it and we've been excited for it for a long time, but this past week, <laughs> there was kind of a curveball thrown into the mix. We'd been waiting for this one breeder, and then we met a dog of a family friend, a puppy that's actually Reggie's brother, and just absolutely fell in love. And when we looked into the breeder that he came from, there were two sisters available still. So if that's not God, I don't know what is. We drove today, it was like four hours there, three hours back, and it is just so worth it because this puppy is just the sweetest thing literally ever. I think it's like amazing and also sort of hilarious the way that God just works things out and his timing is just so difficult to understand sometimes, but it's so perfect at the same time. We said all along that we weren't gonna push it, we're just gonna stay on the waiting list, and that way, you know, whenever it happens, it happens. But we were all kind of feeling like, wow, like, we just would really love this now. Like, we're, we're willing to wait, but man, we'd really love to have our puppy now. And then the opportunity just kind of opened up. The window of opportunity was there, and we found our girl and kind of all knew that, we should go for this. This is this is what God is nudging us towards. I'm not a spontaneous person in general, so this whole thing happened so quickly. After two years on a waiting list, we ended up getting our puppy in a process that took maybe four days. But again, I feel like it's an example of God just working things out in the perfect timing. Reggie and I are going to be roommates from now on, so hopefully she will not be disturbed by my like nocturnal writing regimen. I already feel like she's going to inspire me to write more just because 
she's so cute and so sweet and she's going to listen to my ramblings about story stuff. Also kind of making me want to add more pets to my stories because I don't have any. Thoughts on pets and fantasy stories? Good? Bad? I'm leaning towards good right now. What else do I want to say about you, Reggie? If she's not in the frame, I'm sorry. She's sitting on my cord and I can't really move. In our travels today, I was able to get a tiny bit of writing done. I think I maybe got like 500 words. Not as much as I wanted to accomplish, especially with all that time. On the way back, I was mostly just trying to comfort Reggie and keep her as chill as possible. But on the way there, I felt like, I don't know, the inspiration was not flowing. And all in all, today was kind of just like a break from everything. I didn't touch a single school thing all day. And it was mostly just a day of Reggie, which to be honest, I'm completely okay with. Anywho though, that is my little puppy vlog for today. Sorry that it was a shorter video than usual and that it had really nothing to do with the writing, but I hope you can appreciate it anyway. Feel free to like and subscribe and comment below with the magical, amazing, adorable pets that you have and adore. And if they help you with your writing or with your creative endeavors in any way, I would be curious to know. And even if you can't see Reggie right now, know that she is curled up in my lap just adorable as can be. That is all for today, so bye from Nikki and from Reggie, and as always, do not forget to spend some time in the clouds today.